Hey guys, it's Adox and welcome to my channel. So today we'll be doing uh, a showcase of my iteration of the blue Zorga deck profile. Um, the red Zorga uh, can sometimes be hard to obtain or uh, there might also be a reason why you might like the blue Zorga over red Zorga. So because of that, I thought I would do my iteration of a blue Zorga deck profile. So with that out of the way, uh, we'll go straight into the deck profile. So starting with the Grade Freeze, we run four of the Mysterious Reigns for Sorga. So his first skill is Continuous on the Vanguard Circle. When you would play a normal order, you combine a normal order with a different card name from your drop in Alpha Magic. And then its second skill, which is Act Once Per Turn, you can counterblast one, choose a card from your drop, and call it to Regard Circle. Then for a Ride Line, we run the Husk Dragon. For the 1, we run the Rain Call Chain, and for the 0, we run the Dream Nibbling. And then lastly, for our Grey Freeze, we run 3 Roaming Prison Dragon. Uh, so I've gone through his skill multiple times now, so I won't go over it, but we do run 3 Roaming Prison Dragon in the deck. Um, I would try and run 4, but uh, deck space is very tight. Uh, next, we run 4 Shadow Cloak. Um, again, Shadow Cloak is an amazing card. Um, again, I have gone over him multiple times in my other deck profiles. Um, his reasoning still stands um, of why he is good and what he can um, do in this deck. Um, a couple of his interactions are, are different from the Red Zorga, but I will go over those when I get into the order lineup. Next, we run one Axia Sticky. Uh, so its skill is you act once per turn, you can counter plus one and retire two of your other regards, draw a card, and then this unit gets plus 5k until the end of the turn. We then run three rogue headhunter. So if you play it in order this turn, it gets plus five. And then when this unit is placed in regard circle, the next time you would act magic and order and play it this turn, you can reduce the counter blast by one. Then we also run one sleep tugging bell. Um, we've gone through her um, a couple times now as well. Uh, the reason for her still stands as well, just being able to put orders from the bind zone to the drop uh, really is handy. She should become very big uh, out of nowhere sometimes. And then lastly, for the grade ones, we run four perfect guards, self explanatory. Uh, we'll quickly go into the triggers. So we run two Academic Hedgehog. I've gone into him multiple times with uh, many other deck profiles. Um, again, it's a very solid um, effect heal. Then we run two Vanilla Hills. And we run seven crit, four of them being the insole crit. Then we run four draws. So the reason why we run draws in this build is unlike the Red Zorga, we can't keep uh, obtaining orders from our drop to our hand. So we have to make sure that we always continuously have orders to use every single turn for Aqua Magic. And then lastly the over trigger because the over trigger is busted. Now to so going into the orders. We run three Cloud of Miasma. Then we run three Grief Despair and Rejection. So what this does is for a counter blast of one if your vanguard is Mysterious Rain Spiritualist Zorga, you can choose three of your units and they get plus 10k into the end of turn. The next we run two Tifa Malice. Um, I've gone over this card multiple times. Um, its reasoning still stands up it's in a Zorga based deck. We run one Overcoming the Natural Death. So its skill is you can play as a Candle Blast of one, bind this card, choose up two order cards from your drop and put them into your hand. And then lastly, we run two spiritual body condensation. And it is skill with paying a soul blast of one. Uh, you can choose a card with a grade equal to less than your vanguard from your drop, call to regard, and it gets five until the end of turn. So, why do I run these specific orders? Okay, so first of all, the reason why I run two spiritual body condensation is it allows us to revive cards in the early game. But one of the main reasons why I run this in the Zorga deck is uh, unlike the Grave Zorga, um, if we don't have multiple Grave free Persona Rides set up in the drop zone, we need to 
find a way to make sure that we can get Zorgas in the drop zone so we can revive them to call Shadow Cloak. So what we can do is we can use spiritual body condensation to soul blast out a Zorga to call the Zorga back and then we can use Shadow Cloak to bounce it back to hand. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons why we run spiritual body condensation because we want to make sure we can always continuously persona ride. Next we run, the reason why we run one overcoming the natural death is uh, be, we never want to run out of steam with the Zorga deck. Uh, unlike the red Zorga, we never run out of steam as we can always fetch orders. But if you can't uh, continuously alpha magic every turn, the deck starts to slow down and um, it just starts falling off and can potentially just flop and die. So, and because we run over uh, sleeve tucking bow, we can potentially keep reusing Overcoming a Natural Death, so we always have ample amount of orders to use. If only Grief Despair Rejection could run in the Grave Azorga build, I definitely would run a couple. Um, but the reason why uh, we run free Grief Despair Rejection in the uh, Blue Zorga build is the Blue Zorga actually doesn't gain any power himself. It relies on uh, the main order, which was which was the Grief Despair Rejection. So if we combo that with Cloud of Miasma, uh, we can give a total of 15k to the front row. Now, there are a couple of plays that we can do in this deck that we couldn't do in the Blue Zorga deck. So first of all, is we can use Blue Zorga to call a Rican Hunter. Rican Hunter will reduce the Cattle Blast of 1. And then if we decide to use two orders of recurrent counter blast and it requires one kind of blast. So uh, the option is we could um, use a Griffith's pair of rejection, maybe with like an overcome the natural death and only one counter blast. Or we could even just use a spiritual body condensation in combination with Cloud of Miasma and across a snow counter blast. So we're just kind of trying to find ways of still managing our resources, but still be able to put down a board. Uh, the Blue Zorga builds able to do that since uh, the Blue Zorga itself has its own innate ability of being able to call regards. Now, one of the big plays that we can do in this deck is if we use Active Sticky to retire our, both our own Prison Dragons, if we have them on board, we can then combo Cloud of Miasma in combination with risk rejection and we can give uh, three units plus 15k power uh, hopefully in each column and then bring our dragons out with 10k and a crit uh, and then we can produce very big numbers uh, these numbers are bigger than in the red zorga build uh, only because we can run grief despair and rejection uh, there are a couple of other interactions you can do on this deck, but um, I implore you guys to test the Blue Zorga deck if you can't get your hands on the Red Zorga deck. Blue Zorga is still a very solid option uh, to play if you wanted to try it out, or even if you just really love Blue Zorga and you prefer Blue Zorga over Red Zorga. Alright, so with that out of the way, that is the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and while you're down there, hit the notification bell so next time that I upload a video, you will be notified. Alrighty, thanks for that. Air Dogs out. Bye.